Hey guys, this is James from Computer Headquarters, and today we're talking about replacing the thermal pads on the Gigabyte 3080. Uh, this applies to the 3080 Eagle, Vision, and gaming models. All of them uh, reported all over the internet to have issues with thermals uh, regarding memory, especially when mining. And we're gonna be looking at replacing the stock thermal pads, as well as adding some to the back plate uh, to improve the performance of the card. You can see the memory junction readout here is showing us about 104 to 106 Celsius. This is with the fans utilizing the cold open air of the warehouse, and it'll be a bit worse inside a dedicated case, as this isn't going to be a dedicated mining build, but just for a gaming PC that mines when it's not in use. We aren't quite reaching the thermal limit required for the car to throttle yet, but we're just about there with little room to breathe. We're going to go ahead and try replacing the thermal pads as recommended by various sources across the internet. We'll be using these random Chinese thermal pads we have lying around for cooling M.2 drives. They're variety packs of multiple sizes, and I'm going to be sort of guessing with these until we get it right because I'm an idiot and don't want to do it the correct way. This is the dashboard for NiceHash QuickFinder's built-in tuner. You can see here that I did a terrible job at guessing the width required to make full comfortable contact with either the backplate or the memory chips themselves, or likely both, and our card is performing worse than stock. We're going to take it apart again and have another guess. In this next segment, we're going to be hitting 110 Celsius very quickly, which causes our performance to dip considerably and honestly becomes a worry for the longevity of our very expensive GPU here. Here I'm eyeing the gap between the backplate, etc. more carefully and adding a thinner thermal pad onto the memory chips to make better contact with the heatsink. I cut the previous strips too wide and prevented the GPU from making full contact with the heatsink in addition to not using the correct thickness of thermal pads for the memory chips themselves. We're cutting them thinner and trying what I believe to be 0.5mm strips layered onto the existing ones. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this and don't really know what I'm doing, which is great news because it means, in my opinion, anyone can do it if I can. Once we're successfully cooling our GPU, we're going to try it again on a separate card and confirm our guesses. All right, guys, so we're going to watch Derek do some work on a second RTX 3080, same exact model number and everything from Gigabyte. Um, these are the same models we did in another video where I gave everyone one of these for Christmas as a good Christmas present. Uh, so Derek's going ahead and he's taking some screws apart here and he's going to be using some thermal pads. And uh, to reiterate what James had just said earlier in the video, we felt like we found the sweet spot for how much thermal pad you need and Derek was able to replicate getting the good results in this part of the video on the second video card and he was able to do that by putting the 0.3 millimeter thermal pad on the back plate where he's touching the back of the cards right now and he was able to use 0.2 millimeter thermal pads on the front of the card and was able to get really good thermal performance, which will give you better frame rates. So keep the card cooler so that you can boost better. You'll get better frame rates in games and you'll get better mining performance if you like to mine on the video card while you're not using it for gaming. We highly recommend doing that because you're getting some of that money back, especially if you had to overpay. Alrighty guys, so to able to fix the overheating problem on these cards, you got your thermal pads, 0.2 millimeter and a 0.3 on the back plate and 0.2 on the actual memory chips by the core. Uh, by doing this, you can able to mine to around 100 hashes at most, but most most likely 
you'd be doing around 96 at most.